Ladies and gentlemen, Velocity is hosting its round two qualifiers uh, for uh, the pay-per-view New Beginnings. It's going to be phenomenal. Uh, but once again, this is a special four week and then a pay a pay per view program before we officially start. But with that being said, uh, with me officially, King Dylan, <laughs> sir, sir, that crown. How does it feel? How does the crown feel? Oh, it feels amazing. Oh. Although these, although the people behind us need to stop throwing their soda at me. <laughs> listen, l- listen. Hey, listen. look, just because I ended your favorite. Wrestler's career doesn't mean you need to be throwing shit at me, okay? <laughs> oh, damn, damn. Um, so, um, as you know, last week we had the round one qual- qual- qualifiers, and I'm excited to say that we're moving forward with uh, with 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 what's going on. Um, so let's start off with with the first match right here: uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Zack Ryder. I asked Jamsaw his opinion on the coaches. Do you think Batista fits Zack Ryder? Okay. Honestly, when it comes to Zack Ryder and Batista, that could be a good force because Zack Ryder is not completely a high flyer, okay. but he's not completely a power dude either. Right. So he, so if he spends some time in the gym with Batista, I can see him buffing up big time Ooh, shit although he's not gonna be lifting like batista for quite some time that's for damn sure no 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 um god we are so close to getting a finalist to face uh the so Ooh, Dolph with that little cheap shot right oh there. hell yeah oh hell yeah um it seems like the only real snake team we have is uh who actually lost last week Kenny, Kenny, and Randy Orton. That was probably oh, yeah. Oh Lord, that's a snake team if I've ever heard one right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> and then uh, another one uh, that we have Chavo Guerrero with his professional coach Muhammad Hassan. Look, look, Muhammad Hassan is no snake. Okay. <laughs> The okay. only reason people think he's a snake is because of that whole situation. Yep. Um, WWE let the um, let the internet um, bully them into getting rid of Muhammad Hassan, yep. even though it was not his fault right. whatsoever. Muhammad Hassan is one of the best talent that had, that was underutilized and everything, and I guarantee had the internet uh, not gotten uh, upset about it because of 9/11. Yep. God. Uh, God rest their souls right there. Yes, sir. Um, I honestly think he would probably be either a backstage talent, right? Backstage dude right now, or he'd still be rumbling in the ring right now because, like, well, first off, people couldn't get mad at the dude. First right. off, he's not even really Middle Eastern. He's uh, he's Italian, so how are you going to get pissy with him like right. that? <laughs> right. Sorry to break the fourth wall for you kids, but <laughs> guess what? Not everybody is the uh, is the uh, is what they actually are. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Ooh. And Go for the pin. I will say, with him and Chavo Guerrero together, that's a team right there. Like Chavo, I know a lot of people don't like Chavo. Oh, I love I, Chavo. Honest, I honestly love Chavo. Oh yeah. And I love his I love Eddie. Yep. The Guerrero family is just absolutely phenomenal. But let's get back to this match real quick. Yes, sir. Dolph Ziggler seems to have some uh, good control over uh, over Zack Ryder right now. Oh yes. It, 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 but of course Zack Ryder is still fighting back like he usually does, but it seems like maybe whatever Batista is teach, te- teaching Zack Ryder is what's keeping him uh Ooh. able to stay on That's top it. of Dolph. Yeah, I think I think um Batista is definitely teaching Zack Ryder how to stay in a match cuz normally uh and again, this is nothing towards Zack Ryder, but um He's normally his matches normally don't go too long. Like right. obviously, besides uh, besides WrestleMania matches when he's when when he was 
in ladder matches or like maybe tag team matches or something like that or maybe like the rare title match because the internet uh, finally pushed Vince to their to his limit and everything but, yeah eh. there we go we're at seven mm -hmm. gotta get in there uh oh we might have a double count out here and Dolph needs to get back into that ring I know he'll take the count out victory and like I stated last week if two people get a count oh. co count out, the person they were supposed to face will get a bye and go on. So, uh, um, looks like Dolph Ziggler didn't want a count out victory there. He ooh. actually, ooh, famous are on the floor. Damn. Jesus. I mean, you're I'll going for you, the. I'll let you guys know firsthand that floor might be padded, but it's not that padded. <laughs> I mean, you're going for the cruiserweight world title. You can't. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's Batista doing in that ring? <laughs> He's helping out. Are we about to get one of the coaches involved? <laughs> Batista, Batista, you, you animal! <laughs> Look, Batista, I know you missed being in the ring, but you already stated you retired from in-ring competition at WrestleMania. Remember? Correct. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. But the fact that he signed out, signed on with our SmackDown, he's getting a little antsy. He's getting a little antsy, so he he, mm -hmm. he will be in action soon. He might have that. He might have that little itch that Stone Cold gets every time he goes anywhere near a wrestling ring. Yes, break. yes. If oh. you guys don't know, uh, during a couple of Stone Cold podcasts, he has made it clear going near a ring gives him that itch to make him get back in the ring, even with his neck injury. And oh wait. Yep. Oh, Dolph Ziggler got the victory right there. Yes, sir. It was beautiful. Oh, what's going on? We might have something. Or, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Zach is leaving very, very disappointed. I mean, yeah. we're going into the sem the semifinals next week. So, mm -hmm. I mean, he was so close. He was oh, so yeah. Close. Oh, and we might have a little tension between the two. Okay. Yes, sir. A little bit of tension there with Dolph Ziggler and Zack Ryder. Damn. So, yeah, so speaking ah. of your love for Chavo Guerrero, uh, this is the semifinal match of the night. Uh, Finn Balor with his coach, John Cena, and Chavo Guerrero with Muhammad Hassan. Oh, baby, we got one match right here. <laughs> Mm, it is too bad Chavo isn't a couple years younger. This match could uh, could have gone on for a good 30 to 45 minutes right here. Oh, Finn Balor now and Chavo right in his prime would be, when he was in his prime, would have been a phenomenal match. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my Lord. Especially if they had, like, a fatal four-way with Eddie Guerrero and Chris Benoit. Oh, mm -hmm. that, that, God, that, that would have been, ooh, fuego. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, and Finn Balor with John Cena. What could John Cena do for the stature of Finn Balor? Well, now here's my thing. I'm a huge fan of John Cena, okay? Yep. Yes, I know. A grown man, a fan of John Cena. Oh, trust me, I yes, am too. Yes, we are, we, are, uh, we, are, we are out there, people. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, with John Cena, he is honestly one of the best motivators in the business. Like this man, norm uh, when you're in the when you're in the ring with this man, normally it's like uh, it's like you get in his face, you start talking shit. One slap from John Cena, you're ready to rumble for an hour. Oh yes, oh yes. I should know because I went an hour with John Cena. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you now, you don't know pain until you've uh, felt an attitude adjustment off the stage. Oh, damn. <sighs> God damn. Mm -hmm. And it seems like Finn is rocking his Prince Devitt gear, the the, 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 yep. the golden Devitt on the. It looks phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get a demon Finn Balor uh, sometime soon. Maybe from, we, oh, John Cena. He yes, gets sir. A dirty go, going at the Chavo, but Finn didn't take advantage. I feel like Finn is like, no, 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 no. We're doing this right. Normally, John Cena's the guy that wants to do everything right. Mm -hmm. But, oh, Finn Damn, Balor nice. is finally getting a, a little more offense in. 
There you go. Work, work in that neck. Work in that. See, you, you got to work on the body of Chavo with the frog splash, the suplex. You got to work on that. Yes, but you also got to remember Chavo has a very, very deep well of moves. Like, yep. for instance, he uses uh, he uses Eddie Guerrero's lasso from El Paso submission move. Yep. He also uses the three amigos. He he uses more. Um, more offense from all over lucha uh, wrestling than most people actually do, and he he doesn't even have to do any high flying moves. Right. And even at his older age, he's in his late forties, I believe, maybe almost fifty. But um, even at his old age, he can still hang with the young bucks as he's doing here with Finn Balor right now. Oh yes, nice. There you go. Work the, yes, there you go. There you go. Uh oh, Finn Balor. Oh, Ooh, working the body. There you go. He's to the gut right there. That's definitely going to make it harder to do the frog splash. Oh yes, oh yes. So I asked. So I asked uh, Josh on Pitts on Pitts Pro. Um, who did did Eddie Guerrero have the best frog splash? See, Eddie has that frog splash that people like me who grew up watching him, we're going to tear up, we're going to get happy and everything. That's like his frog splash is perfect and yeah. everything. Yeah. Now, Eddie has a pretty good one. Like it still brings back memories every time I see it. Mm -hmm. But it's not as special as seeing uh, Viva La Raza, Eddie Guerrero, uh, freaking do a um, beautiful, beautiful frog splash from one side of the ring to the other. Correct. Oh, speaking but, of going up. Uh oh, Finn Balor. Nice. Ooh, that coup de gras right there. Will Chavo get out of it? One, two. Oh. oh Chavo showing, showing the results of gutsy training right there. Oh, hell yeah. Nice. Now. As I was saying, with Eddie, it's the most memorable frog splash, and he does it so well. But nowadays, there are so there are so many people who do it fantastic. Like with Kevin Owens, his because of that little bit of extra weight he has and everything, mm -hmm. not as much as he used to. But with the oh, yep, oh more, my God, he's, he's stretching Finn Balor out right now. Oh, but Finn Balor with the arm drag right there. That beautiful arm drag. Mm -hmm. Um, with people like Kevin Owens, the um, the I forget his name, the the one kid from the Street Profits, Montez Ford. Yes, Montez Ford has innovated the uh, frog splash into something into something major. Uh oh, nice. drive by drop kick to Finn Balor. But skull he no right sells he it. Just kicks up <laughs> like it was nothing. Like it's Shawn Michaels back in the nineties. Mm hmm. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a comeback. Balor with his comeback going right now. Oh, yes, yeah, Sling Blade. There you go. Oh, he's going for a second one. Uh-oh. Can we get a reversal? Oh, oh. No. I thought we were going to see a coup de gras right there, but he did a body splash instead. One, two, two. and Chavo still <laughs> kicking out. <laughs> Shit. Chavo may not seem like it, but he is one of the most resilient wrestlers you will ever see. Oh, here's the second one. Here we go with the coup de gras. Could that be it? Uh, one, two, two that's three, it. And Finn Balor with a beautiful win right there. Damn. So next week, uh, so, so we have a main event tonight, but next week will be the finals. No, sorry, the semifinals. The semifinals. It will be Dolph Ziggler versus Finn Balor and the winner of that goes to the pay-per-view to face the Hurricane for the Cruiserweight Championship. That's going to be one hell of a thing right there. I got my boy Finn Balor winning the whole thing. You think I so? wanted Chavo to get the Cruiserweight title because that's what he was always well known for. While Eddie was going for the WWE title, Chavo always held that Cruiserweight title or the tag team titles or hell, sometimes even the United States title. Yep. Damn. 
beautiful. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, next week, how do you rate uh, Dolph Ziggler versus Finn Balor? Well, if you had... For all the fans watching right now, if you have not seen Finn Balor versus Dolph Ziggler in WWE, I recommend you watch it. Uh, Because, first off, Finn Balor is great in the ring. and, And secondly, Dolph Ziggler... He's great when he is phenomenal when it comes to making other people look good mm-hmm. and making himself look good too. Yes, yes, and and the man is great at selling too. The man oh, knows yes. how to sell. He reminds me so much of Shawn Michaels when he's overselling. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. And we have here uh, Heath Slater and the Hurricane versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, I, and... I see Kenny Dykstra and uh, Dolph Ziggler with their coaches. Oh. Oh, Dolph Ziggler's fighting twice tonight. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so here we have the cruiserweight champion, and and his coach facing the cruiserweight tag team champions. Uh, nice. With with of course their coach coaches in their corner. So mm. yeah, so you get to see for for firsthand uh, Randy Orton and Kenny working together. Oh yes, and first thing I I just got to add this because. Uh, Hurricane actually reminded me of this. Mm-hmm. Um, now, there's not an official date for it, but my company, Global Wrestling, Ooh, yes, is sir. having a special event we call Global Lucha Night, where we bring in the greatest luchadors and lu- and luchadoras mm-hmm. uh, from all over the world, from uh, from freaking uh, from over there in Europe, Africa, Asia to right here in the United States, Mexico, uh, Canada, and South America. We are having some of the best talent. Beautiful. And and we're all going to have all of them fight on one card. I love it. And guys, links links for his channel will be in the, the description like yes. they always are. So please go check out. Like, subscribe, go check out. He puts out, he puts out great content. And don't... don't forget to look up global wrestling uh stomping grounds much like uh what we're having here having uh having having them fight in an nxt early nxt sense we are doing a similar thing in stomping ground where we have young men and women talent fighting it out brawling and uh and this summer after SummerSlam, i will make a decision on which four people will be signed to the Global Wrestling uh, roster in Season 5 on Ooh. WWE 2K22. Damn. Oh. Mm-hmm. Two men, two women. Oh, we got the coaches involved here. Oh, back up. He's trying to throw him into Randy, but it's not really working. Well, Rand- <laughs> well Randy is a snake. He slithers out of situations, so... <laughs> oh, he is nice, nice, nice toss. <laughs> Nice reversal from the hurricane. The, the then, hurricane. Yeah, we we might have we might have a preview right here if Dolph Ziggler uh, can get past Finn Balor. This might be a preview of what we have to see. Oh, we have we have somebody coming. Oh yeah, Chris is trying to do whatever. What's that he right can. there? Uh, is that? Oh wait, that's oh wait oh. Tony, okay, Looks there you like go. There the you go. Managers are getting physical. Real oh yeah. Quick. It seems Ref, like I think you might have to talk to one of them out. Ooh. <laughs> um, so I gotta ask you, were you a bigger fan of the Hurricane or Greg or, or Gregory Helms when he was the dominant oh, cruiserweight champion? The Hurricane, no doubt. Okay. I when growing up watching the Hurricane, he was he was he was one of the parts that I absolutely loved about wrestling like seeing like when it comes to wrestling I love the goofy character the goofy character on um, that um, that not only makes everybody else look good and everything in matches but every now and again when Vince is feeling nice yep. uh, he, he makes himself look good oh it seems like the coach is going right after who could be a threat to Seriously? his his Ooh. rookie's title belt. I mean, what yeah. is what does this say to Finn though? Like the fact that the cruiserweight champ 
Champ's coat is going after the other threat. Like, does that speak bad of Finn Balor? I don't know. Damn, he went right All after I Dolph. Know is that... Oh, we got a we got a pile up over here. Jesus. So much is going. And Gregory Helms is sitting over there, not even not even getting involved. Oh. Which is a good thing. It makes him look like a true champ champion letting everybody else do the fighting yep. and make and sitting back correct oh. when you're a true champion you don't want to put yourself in them kind of situations and everything no I learned that the hard way oh there you go mm. i think it's i think it's funny that you're keeping a close eye on uh on the talent more as a competitor than a commentator. You're you're going in deep with this. Well, you gotta. I gotta put in my. I gotta put in like with me as a comp as a former competitor myself and everything. Like, uh, who better to comment on some of their uh, some of their stuff than me? I mean, your resume is 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 longer than my arm. So I so so I mean you. <laughs> so you can't help 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 but see what is the uh, uh titles that these that these guys have uh held in the past like you can't like 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 not notice it mm -hmm. like seeing these guys rumble right now makes me want to trim down and join in the <laughs> cruiserweight division <laughs> right <laughs> oh damn he could have gotten the count out victory but he that's the sign of a good, of a true rest, of a true uh, professional wrestler, right there. You don't want, you don't want the easy count outs or disqualifications. You want to make a statement. You want to make your opponent tap out, or you want to pin them. Correct. My favorite was always to tap out, honestly. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, there you go. Trying to throw him into his coach. I think he's just trying to get him out of there right now, like. Ooh, there you go, Heath. Oh. Shit. Oh, walked right into a suplex. Mm-hmm. And there we have the tag with Dolph Ziggler ready to pick off the bones. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Heath Slater didn't like that one. Oh, no. Oh, with a beautiful neck breaker right there. Oh, nice reversal. Shoulder block. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Into the corner. Oh, into his. Yes, there you go. Keep him in your into corner. Into his corner right there, yeah. Oh, could uh -oh. we see an avalanche? Heath Slater. Oh, no, we're getting no, a suplex no, no, outside. No, 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 no. Don't do this, kid. Oh, we're You're doing gonna it. Fuck yourself up. Oh, we're doing it. Ha! Jesus oh. Christ. My back still tingles every time <laughs> I see that. <laughs> God damn. Jeez. These kids are crazy right now. Oh, throwing them into his coaches. Mocking Randy Orton. Jesus Christ. Ooh, Masters, don't, don't, don't do it. Don't get don't involved. Don't do it, Masters. You don't want to get kicked out. Listen, man, we know how Vince gets. If you attack a rookie, mm -hmm. you aren't Kurt with Ooh, Daniel right Peter. Into the Mm. And trust me, you don't gotta tell me about anything about Vince. I I already know. <laughs> I kn I know what it's like working under him. Is oh yes. Mm. I may have won the WWE title a couple times, but trust me, I want to knock out Vince. <laughs> <laughs> you get you get in the ring with me, bitch. <laughs> Shit. Ooh, Heath, get, there you go. Stay on top of him. Stay on top of him. Mm -hmm. Dolph is Yo, young I, still. I definitely am thinking about calling calling up an old friend and trimming up and maybe joining in this cruiserweight division because these guys are doing one hell of a job right here. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. And then the fact that season, season two is starting uh, all, all along with SmackDown and Pitts in about a month, like anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, famous sir. Ooh, famous sir out of nowhere. I think Can that we might get be the it. Pin? One, two. Oh, oh no. No. He Slater uh, stayed uh, stayed in it, and I'd like to point out something. 
Hurricane did not give a damn about his tag team partner right there. He stayed on that rope, uh, not even giving a damn if he got pinned. Damn. You got but you also got to think about it like this. You're not the one getting pinned, so why should you even care? Right? True, true, true. And plus, it's not like this is for any tag team championships or anything. Correct. He, Hurricane doesn't want to get himself injured because if he does, he'll have a disadvantage against whoever wins this tournament uh, for the Cruiserweight Championship match. Correct, correct. Oh, he's going up again. We already got one body oh splash. Oh, my goodness. Did we see two? Damn. With a beautiful splash right there. Damn. I was. He's going for a third in a row. Jeez, you don't see this too often out of him. Come on, Heath. Oh, elbow oh, with, oh. with an elbow. I think Heath Slater might be out of it. He is not moving. Oh, he's got to be knocked out. He might be missing a couple ribs there. Oh, Ooh. nope. Heath Slater's got his spirit back. Ooh, there you go. Work. There you go. Work. Work. Work the back. Two. Nice. They go roll out. See, I wonder what your velocity roster would do against my cruiserweight division. Ooh, wouldn't that be amazing? Mm-hmm. Or maybe bring in a couple luchadors. Ooh, that 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 actually that actually would be pretty phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Oh, is Heath gonna get the count out victory? He says. I mean, Heath needs a victory every now and again. Like, if We're you watch him in WWE, he didn't exactly get much. We're at six. Oh, he always back in at seven. There you go. Uh-oh. DDT. Beautiful DDT by Kenny Dykstra. Can he get the pin after that? One, two, oh, no. There's the hurricane. The hurricane coming in. Oh. Maybe he does care a little bit. <gasps> no, watch out! Oh, oh, oh! He knocked him. Oh, he knocked him Correct. off the. <laughs> he knocked him off the turnbuckle. That might cause some, uh, cause some issues with Kenny oh, Dykstra oh. and Gregory, or not Gregory Helms. I'm sorry. Where's Gregory Helms at? We're looking at the hurricane. Right. <laughs> Yay! Nice, <laughs> nice swinging neckbreaker. Tag him. Tag in the hurricane. Oh, can he later get it? Yes, he gets the tag right before Kenny Dykstra can get him. And a beautiful launch. And of course, of course, the Hurricane's got to put on a show for his fans. Ooh, but he stopped the tag, though. Yeah, he stepped, he stood right in front of him. Damn, Hurricane knows what he's, I mean, he is a great champion. Ooh, we got a little blood there. Beautiful. He just got a little bit blood, man. Damn. You know, I gotta say this, Kenny Dykstra and uh, Dolph Ziggler actually remind me of a of a new tag team I recently signed for the Stomping Ground, uh, for the Stomping Ground show, honestly. Yeah. Uh, I haven't, I haven't actually learned what their tag team name is, because they're recent Correct. downloads, and, but they actually won their first, uh, their first match this past episode and honestly Dolph and Kenny Dykstra are reminding me of them ooh yeah there you go oh what are we seeing uh -oh. oh no oh oh no he's... no no hurricane don't do it do kid. it don't do, do it. it nice ooh. nice baseball slide through the turnbuckle mm -hmm. Damn, I think Dolph's pretty face just got messed up on that one. <laughs> oh, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. There you go. Oh, and, and the seal steps. Uh-oh, I hope there's not a count out here. We don't need that right now. No. Especially with a great main event this was. Absolutely. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Ooh. Gregory Helms should have just stayed out of this match. That, uh, freaking, that, these, uh, these freaking attacks he's taking could affect the, uh, championship match coming up later. Dolph, get in the Dolph, ring. Dolph, you want this win, you might want to get in the ring, buddy. Dolph. No, we got a draw right here. 